Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stepping by. This is going to be a Taurus weekly money and career reading from September 9th to the 15th, 2024. Taurus, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Taurus weekly money and career September 9th to the 15th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word. If you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name and announce it at the end of the month of September. So grab your best earbuds, headphones for a better sound, and let's get started. I'm gonna pull one Oracle card see what the root of the matter is, what we need to know, or the hidden message for this week's reading. The key. There's your answer. A new start. Doors opening. Let's see where this is going. Let's see what you're starting, what, um, who is anchoring you into maybe a new job, um, a new direction in your career. Uh, doors are opening for you. So, and, and so are you, maybe you're getting that green light or that call, that message that you're waiting for. All right, Taurus, let's see. Let's see what's going on. I like the key. Okay, that just popped out. Yeah, you ha you're weighing your options. Feels like you've been disillusioned before. Um, yeah, clearly. So, all right, let's 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 see. Because you have your answer here and clearly you're, move you're starting something new after maybe this is a water sign communications people you don't trust or maybe you started a job or maybe you started working on something and that was that didn't work out yeah not enough um disappointed or but also um there's a trust issue with maybe a water sign or a miscommunication or maybe you were open to communicating and they're not or maybe they're open to communicating and you're not because you don't trust them anymore you have other options but they've deceived you or this is not what you expected right with the four of cups you're done already with this you don't want another another offer from them or you're not seeing it the same way um it's not enough for you it's not good enough for you and you have the lovers so there is a decision made there um and there's money Ooh, okay all right so it feels like there's the end of something here with the ten of swords done done with that person with that job or or just you know the confirmation with the ten of swords is that you felt they didn't have your back or they lied to you or you know they stabbed you in the back literally you know with the ten of swords so there's a sort of ending of trust there whether it be in a job or in a partnership, in a business relationship or a project you were working on or just a person, right? It doesn't have to be per exactly on a specific project. It can be a person that you trusted that was going to open doors for you or give you an answer or something like that. So it feels like it's not that one and there's miscommunication there. Not, But we have the key here. So yes, yeah, so you're triumphant. So let's pull some cards on these options here. Clearly there's mistrust and clearly there's someone that's not, that you can't work with or you don't want to work with or you don't want to even want to deal with them anymore. But you have victory over that. So you're starting something new. All right, let's see. Let's pull cards on this uh, Six of Cups and see what this next step is going to be. 
I need to call the cards first. Why is this Seven of Cups here? What are the options after the disillusionment? What are the next options? What is Taurus stepping into? What are the next options? Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is just giving me us the root of the matter here where it's an eye opener. Clearly, you're going in a new direction. You don't want to be in this tower anymore. Okay, good. I mean, for me, the tower is always good. It's a change, so if we don't like change, um, okay, but if it's not working for you or you're not trusting this person or they lied to you or whatever it is, um, the tower is a good thing because it's that moment of awareness that this is not going to work out and you have to do things differently. All right. Um, too many cards. Why is so, I don't think I'm going to dwell on this tower. Okay, here we go. We have the good, good, because we know why you have the tower. You realize that, you know, that's this is not going to work out or they lied to you or it's not what you thought it was, right? And so here you're moving into something else and you're getting your inspiration back. Good for you. You have the magician. So you're moving forward. So what are you moving forward on? Let's see. Uh, you're, you know, you know, you have everything you need. Yeah. So you're moving slowly though. This is a slow movement, preparing, um, planning out, figuring things out, but it is a movement forward. And what is moving forward? And there you are, Taurus. So practical, finding solutions. Um, I like this. So this is a new movement forward. This is something new. Give me one moment. And you have the chariot. There you go. So this is really the, the, the moment you were waiting for. Uh, with inspiration, with determination, and also maybe you'll do this by yourself. Maybe you found the key by yourself, right? You're understanding that this is a new start. You're opening doors for yourself because this is a whole new energy with the magician and the chariot and the tower. Um, understanding that you're going to go in a new direction you have the tools. It's also time. <clears throat> That's when the magician is there. It's about understanding, you know, to be very clear on your objectives, very clear on where what you want to bring in that change that you want because the other thing didn't work out. Or I think you were surprised that it didn't work out. And I think you were you're surprised that that person let you down or miscommunicated or doesn't want to communicate with you anymore or you don't want to communicate with them anymore because they disappointed you. And um, so it's also um, an eye opener for you that, you know, you have to, it's time to move forward on, on the, the other project, whatever this is, right? Another job, another way of working, um, other people, maybe another subject, because um, you're gaining power along the way. It's almost like this tower moment has inspired you to do it differently, but really, really has energized you in a way maybe that you haven't been energized before with the magician and the um the chariot um the you're stable you're in control which is something that you like you're almost like free spirited it's it's exciting yet you're very yet very ambitious with the chariot right the chariot is um not looking back so you have clearly processed this moment and um, and really um, channeling now your power. But you're taking it to the next level. I mean, your dedication and your power 
to bring this forward, bring this new, something new, clearly, um, something that you're planning slowly. You're taking your time to plan. You're taking your time to put this in place. You're not rushing yourself, but you're fierce. You're fierce in your, in your dedication, in your ambition, in your drive with this chariot, right? That willpower, that you will succeed, that willpower, right? And it, it, so after this moment where you realize you're not going to work with that person anymore, or it's not for you, um, it's really, you're not wasting time. So even if the action, you know, is slow in preparing, you're acting upon it right away. You're not wasting any time. And it's really no time to be passive and just hope for the best. Really, it's time to hone in and and to get to work right away. And I feel like um, you're you you have you you have to like focus on what is important for you at this moment to be successful, and just keep that focus and remain confident. In, in all your abilities, right? To focus on that one task. It feels like there's one thing that's very important for that goal. And um, even if it's not an easy route to victory, it's a victory, right? And so it feels like you need a lot of strategy and it feels like maybe you trusted that person or you counted on that person to elaborate this project or this job, right? And them not being there anymore, it's all on you. But that's okay, right? So um, it's within reach. It's right there, but it's really up to you to make it work and assert yourself and just push and be bold and, you know, just set your boundaries, have faith and set your boundaries because you might be alone on this thing. And you're the one that's going to call the shots. You're the one that's going to find the solutions, right? You're the one that's going to find the contacts. You're the one to do everything. So I feel like the key is you. But let's let's keep going. Let's keep going and see what the... Um, let me move these. I want to see what the Lovers is all about. Because the Lovers is also about honesty and integrity. And I feel like that's that's a big that's something that's it's a big player here in your job in your next action forward in that goal of uh, finding a job in that goal in starting an enterprise in that goal in beginning a new program whatever it is that you're starting to do it's going to be different for everyone but the lovers here is about um finding those connections and it's also it can be a little spiritual it's really about understanding right what the choice of who 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 you are in this in this scenario are you just all alone and you're powering through and no matter what you have the you have to have the courage to do everything and you're the only one there and you're going to you're going to do all the jobs like you're going to be solo independent or or um are you going to connect with others and on what level right w what are you going to stand for what is what are your what are your values going to be and Maybe that's why they deceived you. Maybe that's why you don't want to work with them anymore. Um, because they don't have the same values you have. Or they are not on the same level you are. Socially. Financially. Intellectually. What is this all about? Because... Um, It feels like it's, is this about their integrity? Someone put maybe the other one, um, hmm, 
someone doubted the other one or someone if it almost feels like a battle of ego or values right more than just who did what in the job or right it's almost like personal about honesty this is all about honesty and sincerity and really um having uh, partnering up with people that have the same the same point of view or not the same point of view but the same level of of integrity and associating yourself partnering up with like the right people the right professional setting the people that you know you can work with that you can trust that also you recognize as good people as honest people it's very much about uh, taking a turn in your career, being very clear on your choice because you don't want to be let down again one more time on people that are not at your level. It feels like you're at a higher level. A little bit of ego there, Taurus, but like you want someone, someone on the same level, financially, socially, you want to be able to identify with them. And if you can't identify with them, you're going to be uncomfortable. Interesting. All right, so let's see what let's pull some cards on the lovers here. But I think that having that feeling, right? Having those emotions because I I feel like it's also emotional because with the lovers, it's all about love too. So connecting with the right people, having that emotional contact as well. Um understanding that they have your back and these are the type of people or company or job, whatever, right, that you can identify with is very important to you. All right, so what is this lovers all about? Why is Taurus so, yeah, again, we have the, uh, it's about communication. It's really about empathy, communication, being open, being open to others, and the communication is key here. And there's a water sign there. And if it's not a water sign, uh, it is all about empathy, communication, listening, listening to one another. And maybe that's, yeah, you're disappointed in that. There's that water sign. So... It doesn't have to be a water sign because this, but it can, you know, it can. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Cancer, which with whom you you feel there's, you don't want to deal with them anymore. They're they're not understanding you. They're not on the same wavelength. And and there's there's a really, um, it's almost like they're they're. Well, let's pull another card. I was gonna say they're not enough for you. But you're just disappointed. You thought it was there was going to be more that was going to happen. All right. Well, let's see. One more, one, one more card on this forum. So this is a person that disappointed you, or this is regarding com miscommunication. Someone that wasn't there for you. And you really thought they were going to be there for you. And for you, it's like, yeah, again, the stress. And, and bringing back your confidence, taking back control with this King of Wands. Can be an Aries Leo Sag, but I think this is you taking back control. Like you trusted that person, you thought you were going to work with them, or you could tr thought you were going to work on the team or, or partner up or start a business with them or just a job, whatever, right? Uh, and you realize that mm, that's, d no, the, 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 um, you're very disappointed in the way they showed up. Okay. All right. So you have victory over that. Is this regarding finances too? Because we have the ten of the ten of pentacles. And so maybe this is someone that you were partnering up financially as well. Or maybe this is about money in your job. All right. So what is this ten of pentacles about? And you have victory over all this. So you're you're coming out of this in victorious, right? Um, you got this. You're coming out in control, leading a team, um, 
um, proud of what you've done, proud of who you are, proud of seeing that this was not going to work out and now you're going to be on your own. Yeah, there you go. So proud of keeping balance financially. It's almost like it's about your money and you're starting fresh with the, um, with the, the Ace of Wands. You're starting fresh. So you are. Uh, maybe this, who is this King of Wands? Is this King of Wands opening? Oh, they're making a decision. Okay, so there's a legal decision or it's like bring, it's it's about bringing back balance bringing back balance in your life, in your career. And so it feels like, okay, so maybe it's this king of wands that's bringing back balance, that's deciding, right? Or that's making a decision or, you know, that it, it's coming back. You're coming back in control. You're excited. You're happy. You're proud. You're proud of what you've accomplished. You're proud of this decision that's made, and it's, yeah, bringing back balance after chaos, but also like with, with a method, right? With, with, um, um, order, clear order, authority, there's authority there. It feels like you're, or maybe this king of, king of wands here is bringing back order in this situation, with a sense of honor like this is a sense of honor for them for you you want to save your honor you want to be proud this is your project this is your business or this was your idea or you just want to remain proud in who you are really really about integrity here and truth and understanding and i and i feel like you're really upset or just dis disappointed in in the lack of communication and the lack of openness of this person or this situation whatever but this king of wands here feels like they're bringing back balance in the situation so this can be um a boss, this can be uh, someone else you're working with, this can be a, a family member, this can be you, but I think there's a someone else. Okay, so the King of Wands has the key and the King of Wands is bringing back stability, but it's almost like law and order. Very, not harsh, but very clear on the method, very clear on the order, right? Uh, all about integrity, trust, and understanding that this is about honor. And it's almost like there's no, it's a logic choice. It's about stability. It's about found foundation, organization, um, and a really a logical choice to bring back um, a healthy foundation within a situation. So whether this is a person of law and order, or this is a person around you, or this is a partner or someone, they are the one that are going to help you um, start fresh. And there's, there, it's almost like they're saving your honor and saving their honor at the same time. Maybe it's about your image. Maybe you don't want your image out there in a certain way, or maybe you didn't want to associate yourself with this person and, and you didn't know. Something like that. Okay. Well, now we have the um, Ace of Wands. Yep. Moving forward, letting go those swords, moving into something smoother. Calmer ways, calmer waters, very good. And then you're you're conquering that. You're conquering the world after that. So someone's cleaning house for you. Someone has your back and someone's cleaning house for you and putting everything back into order. Stability above all. All right. And integrity. Stability and integrity above all. Wow. Okay. Let me know if you connect with this. Let me know what this is all about. All right. Now, here we have, I just want to pull one more card on the key here, Taurus. Taurus, a weekly money and career, September 9th to the 15th, 2024. Why is the key here? Yeah, deception. Again, a lot of deception there. Yeah, and big change. There's the key. There's the change. 
And I think that King of Wands is there and we have the Queen of Wands, yeah. So that's the person bringing in the change, um, making the decision within with authority, within a company, within a job, within a situation. They're the they're pretty much the I wouldn't say the hero, but they're they're the law or the but they don't have to be the law. When I say law, it doesn't have to be law at all. But it's really someone putting putting back order in a situation to situation then that you know wasn't trustworthy or went away or you know or, or someone or maybe maybe it was a bad apple or something like that um okay and with yeah so you're letting go letting go the disappointment letting go the past actions within the job situation whatever it is um whether it's a person whether it's a company, whether it's all around a feeling, right, that you were robbed, um, not robbed, robbed, robbed your, uh, your integrity, or people lied to you, or you felt like you, you really, you really feel like you have your sense of honor here. And you can be proud of what you've accomplished and who you are, and you're keeping your sense of honor. And I feel like that king of king, queen of, of, of wands is has your back and is there for you okay very interesting so let me know what this is all about um taurus uh if you connect and if you're in the mood uh to support this channel um would love to have you all you can all you have to do is uh click on the join button that'll take you wherever you wish to go uh, I know it's not for everyone, but for anybody that's interested, it does help the channel. And um, it also will give you access to, um, to a question during lives. Lives that we do every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Uh, would love to have you there. All right. Ooh, too many cards. Um, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Taurus weekly money and career thank you September 9th to the 15th 2024 yeah moving on moving on well we do have the death card and the tower right moving on it's it's no it, it's not worth dwelling on this even though you know it might have been difficult and it it takes courage to you know move forward but you are moving forward like not only you're taking control or taking back control if that's something that makes sense to you um but it's really um clearing clearing your name clearing your name clearing your image starting fresh with this king of wands queen of wands here that is really cleaning house and moving forward communications are open again clearly they were off or closed yes now you can move forward and you see you have the the knight of pentacles starting with that knight of pentacles which is very slow moving like you knew you had to move forward you knew you had to get out of that you knew you had to plan and prepare something else quickly but it was going slow the planning was going slow. like the action went quick to start but then it was slow moving moving forward to you know contact the people to plan things out to go on to that other project other people or to get out to get out of that situation right this was not something that's easy but you have the help of the king and queen of wands that are you know making a decision for you or connecting you to the right people to be able to clean up the the mess if it's a mess and maybe it's not a mess maybe it's just one person maybe it's just miscommunication but here you are new offer new creativity new energy fresh new beautiful beautiful love it but you have to move out of the swords don't remain there. You have the um, you have the death card there. Don't stay in that energy because it's really not going to serve you. It's really not going to be um, um, effective or positive to in, in bringing in whatever whatever that was or whatever that is. It's not going to serve you in this next step. In this next job project or next energy that's moving forward that's much more creative 
and it's exciting with the Page of Cups. Yes, it's new, um, but you have the King of Cups and the Page of Cups all about creation, all about creating something new or connecting with very creative people or creative team or creative project, whatever it is. And when I say creative, I always say it doesn't have to be artistic. It can be artistic. Maybe you are an artist. Maybe you are creating art, music, writing, whatever. But um, it's all about be you creating something new and you being part of something that is being created. Now, you might be the creative person within a job or the most creative person within a law firm, for example, right? Um, but, um, but it's, yes, it's you creating your new energy and accepting this new offer because it feels like there's offer, or at least there's communication regarding you wanting to move forward on something. So there's messages there, someone contacting you. Very interesting reading. All these readings are very interesting this week. Very, um, intricate, uh, intricate interesting focused energies on change on understanding and um really realizing that we have choice there's always choice free will free choice everyone's an individual never feel like you have to follow or remain in someone else's energy never and is it easy no. Is it always easy? No. Uh, is it always clear? No. Do we need courage? Yes. Do we need power? Yes. Um, do we need, you know, it, it's nothing is easy, but free will, free choice, always. Um, so I am going to say that the magic word here is The power of change. The power of change. So if you're interested, um, in putting the, um, your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the power of change down below in the comment section and be subscribed. Don't forget to check if you are subscribed, if you have subscribed for a while already. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, but just just double check that you are still subscribed. And also, um, if you're just popping in, thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, have a great week, Taurus. And gratitude, gratitude to each and every one. Uh, watching this channel, supporting this channel, connecting, sharing your journeys. Uh, that is how I push forward in my readings. So gratitude and uh, to each and every one. Have a great week, Taurus. Take care. Bye-bye.